Hi everybody. <laughs> we are in the van, so it's shaking around a little bit, excuse that. And we are on our way to Campervan Corner, is it? It is, yeah. Yeah, up in Burnsell. Yep. And we are staying there overnight. It's Thursday, which seems kind of strange night to do something like this, but unfortunately Graham's got commitments this weekend, so it's kind of like the only night we can really do it. So we're gonna go and give it a try. See what it's like. I've never been here before. Have you been here before? No. No. Okay. No. So neither is Grim. But there is a pub about a 20 minute walk. So we're also going to go to the pub oh, and have something to eat and have a few drinks as well. So I will take you along with that and you can see what it's all about. We're going up a very big bank and it's made me feel very sick at the moment. So <laughs> I'll come back to you later. Bye. And down, <laughs> up and down, and up and down, and then up and down some more. But look at all of that. That is beautiful. Oh god, there we go again. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Apparently sat in the van, lost. <laughs> we don't know where it's at, it's a down a track somewhere and yeah, we're gonna need to find it quick. Graham's just gone to scout it, but we've looked in the book and there's actually no sort of map directions or anything, so Fingers crossed we get there. Here we are, we found it. <laughs> it was literally up the road. But um, this is called Camper Van Corner. And as you can see, we are in the middle of nowhere. We're only about an hour away from where we live. So yeah, there's a nice big cow pat for me to stand in. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so it's just a big field. There's no services here. He's Does he? Got it for some yeah. Reason. There's no services or anything here, There's so. Water. Is that? Where? All oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. Need to do more research. <laughs> but it is actually time. What's it time for, Graham? Mm -hmm. What's it time for? Tick, 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 tick. Yeah. <laughs> it is Aldi special beer o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have a beer first and then we'll um, start walking towards the pub, I think. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Be a bit closer, will you? <laughs> anyway, time for a beer. <laughs> there we have it. Toilet tent is up. Beers and table are out. And the deck chairs are out. And the sun's out, which is really, really nice. So we're just going to sit and have a beer. And then we're going to walk to the pub and get something to eat. But it's absolutely stunning. There's only us around. We've turned the van the other way around because it got a bit windy this side. So we thought we'd sit at the other side. Um, go, yeah. Here's your throne. <laughs> For the Queen. <laughs> gotta have a potty. We gotta have a potty. I guess you want me to open that now, do you? Oh no, just stand there and hold some. <laughs> That's what I do best. But this, this cow patty that I thought was a cow patty, Graham's actually taught me it's a bleeding stone. Yorkshire stone. Yorkshire stone, yeah. And I should go and get my eyes tested, which I obviously need to do, so yeah. So this is a campsite that Graham has wanted to come to since last year, but we just couldn't make it last year because we had a problem with the fuel, fuel pump on the camper van. And we didn't get it fixed till sort of late in the year. So by the time we got it fixed, we were running out of time. The weather was changing. So unfortunately, we didn't make it. But we made it now. And sat here in the sun in the Yorkshire Dales, it actually feels really good. It's There's just nobody around again, you know. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not a proper campsite. It's just, it's, a, it's what's called a Brit stop. Um, and I'll talk you through the Brit stop thing a little bit later. Um, but yeah, it's it's really nice, it's really peaceful and I think we're going to really enjoy it here for the night. So we're out now walking to the pub. Um, the sun's starting to go down a little bit and starting to get a bit chilly. Um, but this is the narrow little path to the pub apparently. And they are all of the scenery. 
not funny. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, nobody around again. Absolutely nobody. But look at that. So yeah, I'll take you a little bit further with me and see if we see anything exciting to show you. I mean, I've had worse walks to a pub. <laughs> We've just walked down a set of steps, like down there and through that gate. And this is the River Wharf. And we're going to walk along this path. It's quite easy going. I think Graham said it's about 20 minutes. And hopefully at the end of this path, there will be a pub. So, yeah. Absolutely stunning. You wouldn't believe that, you know, considering, uh, you know, I live in Leeds. This is an hour from where we live. You know, and when you think of Leeds, you always think of that sort of heavy sort of you know sort of overpopulated sort of busyness if you like and just a little bit outside of it you come across places like this absolutely gorgeous so what's your holiday going like so far it's a bad one <laughs> a bad one yeah i mean yeah school night thursday night yeah Shh, <laughs> drinking beers. <laughs> God help us in the morning, yeah. <laughs> but what an absolute view. How magical is this? It looks like something from a different part of the UK and it's not it's just absolutely stunning I'm so pleased we got to do this this time it really has um, you know sort of opened my eyes to what we can do off grid basically without any electricity or any facilities or anything like that and here we are we've just got to the pub car park look at that <laughs> doesn't look like it's too busy either so fingers crossed a nice little seating area there this is the red lion is it the red lion Graham yes, red yeah lion. nice little seating area there watch the world go by in the summer <sighs> I'll take you inside and let you have a look around so here's another outside seating area plenty of space nice flat stones old building and there's the entrance there I think we're going to sit outside and have something to eat because look at those views I mean who wouldn't want to sit outside and after being locked up for two years you know you kind of like get me out and while the weather's nice make the most of it so yeah I think we'll uh, we'll sit out here and have something and watch the world go by so food of the night I ordered a chicken burger and some skinny fries what did you go for chicken Caesar salad yeah, and grilled. Yeah. yeah, I might fancy yours actually. Well, we're we're <laughs> going to share. Chairs. We're going to yeah. share. Yeah, I'll let you know what it's like. Take two. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Take two, everyone. Yeah, yeah. I'm falling down early. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, get on with it. <laughs> We've had to come back to the campsite because as we were having our food, it started raining. So yeah, unfortunately, we it is are. Yorkshire. Yeah, unfortunately we are wet and back in sort of warmer clothes and we're yeah. just going to have a drink. Put the fire on. Yeah. Are you putting the fire on? I will light the fire. Okay, yeah. we're putting the fire on. And, We've got uh, a ton of logs with us, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to sit and watch the world go by. So Absolutely. Enjoy have, your evening, folks. Enjoy. Bye. See you later. I'm back because I've decided to show you this fire. And Graham bought me this for my birthday last year and we didn't get to use it till like October sometime, I think it was. And it is the most amazing fire ever. And if you're camping, the best thing to do is to get these like little wool fire lighter things. Are they wool or straw? They, no, no they're, they're, they're like they're a wood shavings. Wood shavings, Covered yeah. In wax. Absolutely brilliant for getting a fire started. Once Graham's done his magic, I'll come back and show you how it looks. Honestly, it burns like a dream and it doesn't drop like all the embers onto the grass and everything, so it's quite sort of safe. And there you go, look how easy that was. But honestly, it, it packs up into a tiny little bag as well. 
unbelievable bit of kit if you like to light fires like Graham does when you are. Dry wood though folks, oh, dry yeah. wood. When you're away camping, but yeah, absolutely amazing. <laughs> you're spoiling spoiling my ambiance. <laughs> Morning campers. Morning Graham. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is um, our sleeping. So you can't really see but that's the back of the van. And obviously Graham is at my feet. And that's the head height we have because obviously we lifted the bed platform to put the fridge freezer underneath it. So we don't have a lot of head height and getting in and out that door. Mm, definitely gives you a great workout, I can tell you, when you need a wee through the night, but yeah. Pop top. <laughs> we are contemplating putting the pop top in, but we still haven't decided yet, so yeah. We're just going to get up and hopefully have a cup of tea. Quite a misty morning. Been raining through the night as well. Uh, but I actually slept okay, it wasn't too bad. But what we've decided to do is have a cup of tea um, before we set off back. So we've just got the jet boil on because it's just easier than getting a whole kitchen out for one cup of tea. And then we're going to get the camper van packed up. I'll show you the bed system from the back, although it's a mess at the minute. Um, this is my bedside bag that I showed you in the first video. And then we've got these two... Um, mattresses from Decathlon here and then both sleeping bags and pillows which are not um, our pillows from home. I'll show you that in another video. And that is it for this edition of Come Camp With Me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions or anything you want to ask, drop them below and I'll get back to you. And excuse the no makeup and hair look because which person didn't take her makeup off when she went to bed? That was me. Which person has now got a sty in her eye for not doing it? That's me too. <laughs> Learn the lesson. Take your makeup off, no matter how tired you are. But yeah, if you've got anything you want to know, just shout up. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a separate video on what I was chatting about on this video called Brit Stop. I just think if I put it to this video, it's going to be too long and then we're never going to find it again when, you know, I mention it moving forward. So if I do a very short Brit Stop video, we can just reference back to that one very, very easily. So that is it for this week's camping adventure. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch up with you very, very soon. Bye.